The COVID-19 pandemic could not have come at a worse time for some Gauteng municipalities that were previously experiencing revenue shortfalls. Under the lockdown, the provincial copter department says the losses have worsened due to additional services required, including water, sanitization and decontamination, and shelter for those in need. Power and water utilities, ESCOM and rent water are bearing the brunt. Municipalities have also had to spend additional unbudgeted funds for COVID-19 related expenditure. And although funds for unmandated expenditure will be reimbursed, that is a process that is not immediate and as such has added to the current financial strain uh, <clears throat> on our municipalities. As a result of this, the department says it has had to engage with all municipalities to find a way to tackle their COVID-19 related financial issues. The final resolution includes meeting with ESCOM and Randwater to find amicable ways to resolve their payment challenges and ring fence some of the 20 billion allocated to municipalities to reimburse the utilities. COCTA MEC to engage Minister of Finance and Minister of COCTA on matters relating to any prescriptions on how the 20 billion should be spent. And the emphasis should be on service delivery related issues. And this can be used for salaries, with municipalities allowed to use their discretion in addressing service uh, delivery related issues in line with all relevant legislation. ESCOM and Rent Water must be engaged to see if payment terms cannot be changed from 30 days to 45 days, as well as on whether they can relax terms when it comes to charging interest on municipal debt. The MEC also announced the Provincial Executive Committee's decision to appoint Willie Billa, the Provincial Deputy Director General at COCTA, as the new Mfuleni Municipality Administrator. The scandal-ridden municipality, situated in the Citibank district, has experienced challenges with poor service delivery, power and water cuts, and corruption. Maile says he hopes the new administrator will turn the municipality around. The intervention in Fuleni up to now has brought about some incremental change in the effective running of the municipality, but uh, has not been far-reaching enough in order to materially transform the municipality so that there is substantial service delivery impact. Hence, we felt the need to intensify the intervention so that we can make deeper inroads in addressing all the issues that have been uh, bottlenecks to the quest uh, to bring the municipality towards a much healthier position. The Executive Provincial Committee will continuously receive reports on the progress made by the municipality under the new administration. Nasipom Ngube, SABC News, Johannesburg.